Okay, hi, welcome to um, another tutorial. Now, this photo that we're looking at here um, is not one of my photos. It's done by um, a gentleman called Mugrat. Uh, you can find all his photos on Flickr, and I'm going to put the address up because it really is worth your while and time to go and have a look at this guy's photos. Now, he's definitely got talent there. Um, very imaginative and this is why um, he's one of my contacts in Flickr and he very politely allowed me and gave me permission to um, use his picture here uh, for this tutorial. I uh, will put his address up for you and please go and have a look because um, he's a very good uh, photographer and full of really good ideas so worth a look. Anyway let's get started. What I'm going to do is I want to change this um, picture here and make it more interesting. So we're going to use a few tools and I'll name them as we go because I don't have a lot of time as you know with YouTube. So let's start yeah. I'm selecting the um, rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select the bottom half of this image here. Then I'm going to come um, what I'm going to do so I can do it from here. Yeah, I can. I'm right clicking here and I'm going to say a layer via copy. And if I just pull this window in here, you can see what's happened. It's created a layer of the selection I've just made. Now, why have I done that? Because I'm going to do something really clever. <laughs> oh, sugar. I'll just. Uh... Ah! This is why I hate shortcut keys. Yeah. So I'm going to select um, the selector tool here now and make sure that I've got that selected. I'm pressing Control T. That gives me this. I think on the Mac it's um, probably Command T. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to really distort this bottom bit of this picture because I'm going to make this the main focus of this photo. And I'm really going to really going to muck about with it here. As you can see, I'm really Dragging it up. I'm going to really pull that out. Something dramatic there. There you go. Really going to town on it. There you go. Zooming it out a little bit there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. We'll say that's okay. Get the idea, yeah? So I'm going to press the tick button and okay that. But now you're probably thinking, well, look at the mess I've made with this picture. Well, no, because what I'm going to do now is select bring this in for you. Select this here and I'll just move this window down. Oops, it's busy. I'm going to make a mask. There you go. I wonder if you know where I'm going with this now. Over here I'm, I'm, I'm painting in black. I've got the mask selected. All I need to do now is select my brush tool and I'm going to paint black now into the mask and I'm at about 31%. I'm using a soft brush. Can you see what's happening now? I'm bringing the layer underneath through. I'll just try to, uh, just because this is in my way, let me move that. I'm now brushing the layer underneath back into play. There you go. Maybe I should up my percent to speed this up because I I've, I've really have got limited time with the video. I'm even bringing some extra grass into play here, which is fine. That's working for me. There you go. Blending it all back in. Just got to get rid of these harsh lines. I'm at 31%. That's why it's, I'm having to go over it and over it. But really, this is the best way to do this. Excuse me. Is to is to work with it, blend it in, get it going. Don't do it a hundred percent or anything like that. Just work with it. There you go. Brilliant. Now I'm going to say I'm happy with that. I could work with that a little bit longer, but I haven't got the time. But you can see what I'm doing. If I bring this window in here now, and I'm going to zoom it in. There was a note to self: zoom in here and <laughs> show the mask. And you can see the way I've painted on the mask. Now back to the image there, if I turn off what I've just done, you see the difference there now. Let's pull this out so you can see it. I turn off, there's the original, there's my changes. And as I'm doing that, I can see here, it's not being blended. So 
So it's, that's why it's always good to turn it off and on, play with it, get it going. There, turn it off. Just a touch there. There you go. Off, on, off, on. Just a bit here. And now we're in business. You wouldn't know that I did anything there, would you? Great. Now I've created a focal point. Now we're going to do some more magic. Let me just um, size this window a little bit. I've got an image there underneath. Didn't know I had that there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to enhance the image a little bit now. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to select curves. It's gone into the other screen. I've got two monitors, you see. Now, I always tend to pick here at this cross point. Darken the blacks, get about here on the cross point, bring up the highlights. Okay, I'm going to move this off the screen now because it's in my way. I'm going to turn off the preview. Off and on. There you go. I've boosted that contrast now. I'm quite, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to OK that now. I've just spotted something down here which I really don't like. So I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to go to my healing brush if I can find it. Yeah. And make sure I've got the image selected. I'm going to hit clone that. Heal that out there now. That's fine. I could go around the whole image and just find it's not really there. That's okay, that's fine. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boost the hue and saturation. When you do this, never go mad on it. Just give it a little touch. I'm just going to boost it just a touch. Let me turn off the preview. There you go, it really is just a touch there. I'm okay in that. There, we've got nice colour there now. It's there. You see the background here? quite sharp. Let's introduce you to this tool here. If I can find it. Don't really use it that much to be honest. There it is, the blur tool. We're going to blur that background. So, let's blur it. We're going to go straight along and blur that background. Just so we keep the main focus on the foreground. There you go. I won't, go, I won't go too mad. Actually, yeah, I will go mad on this. Cause I quite like this blur tool. Well, I'm using the blur tool because there's not a very big area to do it with rather than using a mask and feathering and stuff like that. So I'm just um, blurring. There you go. I really want that to look blurred. I really do. There you go. Brilliant stuff. Now, as you can see, I am sort of going over this quite quickly. You can take more time on your photos. There you go. Finished. Now, you get the general idea. See what I've done. You can do this with uh, lots of images. I've brought the focal point in. There's the focal point, which I think is a really good idea, by the way, for Mugrat. Um, he's used this puddle, which is a puddle, and um, he's using the reflection. And that's a great idea. Um, most people go for lakes and stuff like that, but he's chosen this puddle, and I've, I love the idea. When I saw it, I thought it was really, really cool. Um, it would have been nice to have the camera lower down and closer to it, um, but, you know, there you go. So I've just basically boosted that and made it more of a focal point, blurred that background so it's not so distracting. So now he's got a foreground, middle ground, and he's got a background. Great stuff. Go to his site. I'll put the address up again and uh, have a look at some of this guy's uh, photos. Great stuff. Anyway, see you next time.